The question is to the Minister of Conservation. What is the Department of Conservation doing to provide renewable energy to remote areas of public conservation land? The Hon. Kate Speaker. Wilkinson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The Department of Conservation has recently completed a 60 kilowatt solar project to provide power to Motu Tapu Island at a cost of $715,000. This is only the first stage of an infrastructural upgrade of the island. Once we upgrade the grid and water reticulation system, we estimate annual, achieving annual operating savings of $188,000. Dr. Dr. Cam Calder. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What other initiatives is the Department of Conservation doing as part of its sustainability programme? Hon. Kate Wilkinson. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Department is installing renewable energy at a number of islands it administers with a focus on off-grid sites because of the high cost of supplying electricity via diesel generators. The Mana Island solar system, for example, will cost $100,000 and save $567,880 over 20 years. The Hon. Steve Chadwick. To the Minister. When was the Department of Conservation's Renewable Energy Retrofits Programme established, and what government was that? The Hon. Kate Wilkinson. Oh, Mr Speaker, I'm aware that the previous government had many strategies, plans, but it's actually the action that matters, and we are, we are making sure that we get action in the Department of Conservation. Point of order, the Hon. Trevor Mallard. A very specific thing, not, not about plans, strategies, actions. It was about a very Do I hear the member? Program. The question was very clear. I invite the Minister to answer it. The Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Can the question asked when... I invite the Honourable Steve Chadwick to repeat a question. To the Minister. When was the Department of Conservation's Renewable Energy Retrofits Programme established and under what government was that? The Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Oh, Mr Speaker, I, don't, I must admit I don't know the exact date. But can I say it is, a very good, it is a very good strategy, and if it was under the Labour government, then I certainly applaud them for it. Question number eight, Carol Beaumont. Thank you, 